Hey guys, this is Ton Ton here. I'm doing an overview of the old toys Revenge of the Fallen Battle Blade Bumblebee from Hasbro, which is a really old toy. This got released back in the time of Revenge of the Fallen. It's nearly 10 years ago. And here we have the figure itself in the vehicle mode or the size here, so as you can see. Really nice car mode here. If you look closer a little bit, there we go. And this is, you see, this is a camera, all the paint and the glass is blue. This is all the wheels section here, and they are very nice rotating. And as you can look closer, you have a camera here, which is a really good interpret interpretation of the what he looks like. The Chevrolet logo. The lights or the vents of the for the air and the glass is made from a clear blue plastic with some tabs in the back here the light however they are painted red now let's transform him first we split out this section here like so And we open the doors. Try it's kind of hard. There we go. Open the door out like so. Then we can split out this section, this back section here. It be the leg. We've opened up this section on the front. And what we want to do is we want to. This is see the leg. We want to untap it. There's a tap there. A tap onto the leg. You want to untap them all. Like so. There we go. Untap this section. As yes, for here, you push down this whole front section of the car and bring the hood up. And you're just gonna start move, transforming the leg. Bring it down. Like so. Just give me a second, please. There we go. As you can see his crotch and the leg here. Turn to the side. What we're going to do is we're going to, we want to untap this section and push them back down for the feet. There we go. If there's a gimmick, th there. No slide down. Like that. Form the leg. Bring back their feet and split out the heels. This will become the thighs armor like that. The second one is the first one. And what we're gonna do now is want to bring this whole section down like so. This is the problem with Hasbro old plastic because sometimes they get tighter and this is a very old toy it's a nine years old toy that is why it's really hard to transform and i have to be really careful not to break anything because i don't think you can buy it anywhere now like in good condition that's which is why i want to keep this guy so really be care careful when doing this review yeah you flip out the stomach and there's his arms I'm just gonna swing them from front and bend them onto the both sides of him like so bring up front and swing to the sides there we go and you're just gonna push down the whole chest section here Foot through the head push the head through Oh, sorry my bad like that there we go and this we're gonna flip it up like that this this piece here you're just gonna push it down and hide in the body like so there we go and we're nearly done swing out the arms Flip out the hands.
the second one the same swing it out rotate it the arm guard and he's gonna re re-angle the chest piece so he mo looks more movie accurate because movie accuracy is what we're looking for a transformer figure and here we have B fully transformed really nice figure I gotta say really nice figure the size here size again and a nice leg but uh, it's a little bit lanky because that is a problem with all the OB figures and some more details on the head really nice head sculpt really nice Re I love all the details here it looks really nice and movie accurate there's a gimmick over here as you can see the eyes have a light piping as well, this is his battle mask, as you can see, and you can just push them down. But like I mentioned earlier, because of the mask, it's hard because of plastic. It's got an Autobot symbol on the chest, which is nice. But again, he's pretty hollow inside to the transformation. But I guess that is what we have to accept because it's produced nine years ago and as you can see here they have all the details of the front of the car and i love the chest actually the chest is perfect because he is able to use all the real car front up front section for the chest and this is the arm and he can transform his arm into the gun mode by just open that up flip out his hand and just simply bring this up a really nice touch really nice I like this because it's a really nice add up to the uh, B because he's always been able to transform his right hand into a gun as, as for this side here push this better than this gimmick and you got his battle axe just gonna open them open them up like so and you have B with the battle axe I don't think he has that in the movie they just added add it up to make him nice the hands here yes so you can see the joint and the thumb can move but the other three fingers are attached so it won't be able to move at all as for the leg we suffer from the uh, problem of old toys design that is it he has such a lanky leg it's too long and the wheel in the back as you can see the wheel in the back is just being pushed outside how would you say pushes outside and compare him to the studio series version of B as you can see here the scale they've done the better scaling the leg now it's look like more in scale so it makes me actually looks very strong stronger like so does he doesn't have like that that tiny angle and he had such a bigger Leg guard. Articulation wise, he can rotate his head, look up and down like so. Arms move up and down. He can do a full tip rotation. The bend of the elbow. 90 degrees, a little bit, you can swivel. And the hand is fixed due to the transformation gimmicks. Like the way Hasbro usually do transformer. He has a swivel here, leg articulation, sp split, swivel, bend at the knee, quite nice. He's double jointed and the angle. And this is a comparison again with the Studio Series Bumblebee. And with Optimus Prime, he's bigger. The scaling is kind of different, so he's on the same side with Optimus. But they look nice together. As you can see, I, I prefer his back than Optimus. This is him with Studio Series Megatron. Kind of good scaling, because B is supposed to be smaller. 
and some more picture of him like i like i said this figure is produced nine years ago it's a pretty long time and it's good at the time it's really good at the time because you can have what is called a clean transformation but again it's had some drawbacks like i said it's the um, lanky arm and legs but they improve it over time so it's a good try and i really appreciate the chest piece because it's a really good touch to the car mode because i actually use like real car parts to transform but now they figures a lot of them are using like fake parts that are hidden inside i don't really like that but it's a good touch anyway i will see you in the next review let me know what you think of this guy and follow me on instagram and last but not least uh, subscribe the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss my new videos thanks a lot guys i'll see you later